Hello. Good Hi, evening. good evening. How are you? Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. And the rest. Help me with the cameras, guys. How was your day, Brandy? Um, okay, yes, I think I have some problem with the computer. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. We can hear you. All right. I will say, okay. <laughs> All right. What about Tanya? What did you do during the day? Actually, today we are going to talk about uh, some activities that we did in the past. So this is a perfect uh, example on how to use a simple past. So for example, what did you do during the day? Okay, so in this case, remember we that... Sorry? We can hear you for some time. We don't hear you. Really? Um. Yeah, you was pressed. Okay, I'm going to connect uh, the cable. Okay, maybe that makes something different. Mm -hmm. At least it's not raining, right? Because when it's raining, it's getting worse. It's, it's really bad. It's a, there's a really bad connection when, when it rains. So let me put the cable here, guys. Give me a moment. So it's not um, it's not your internet, but because I see my uh, I saw a message actually that says that my internet is unstable. So oh, okay. um, I hope it may, if it gets better. All right. So, ever you raise your hand? Did you have something to say? Well, I wanted to say that I couldn't hear you, and your camera just freeze. <laughs> Was for us. Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry guys. Um uh, I'm supposed to have a better a better internet, but I don't know what's going on. Um, but now do you hear me better? Yeah. Okay, kind of. All right. So as I mentioned before, we're going to talk about the past and also this the past continuum. All right. Remember yesterday when you were uh, saying, oh, you were telling us the story about the campfire and the guy who was bringing all the time his bouquet and every uh, one of the girls got scared, right? When he was, uh, well, when he appeared, right? The girls got scared after he left. So you see, you're using the simple past all the time to talk about any activity you did a few seconds ago, okay? Uh, or before a long time ago. What is the difference in that case? If you have watched the video, what is the difference between the simple, the simple past and the present, sorry, and the past continuous or past progressive, which is the same? Obviously, we're talking about um, uh, the difference in the meaning, all right? But you already know the structure. I know this is like kind of basic topic, okay? So what is the difference besides the structure, of course? Simple past is when something stops the past. Uh -huh. And for example, when I'm talking about past continuous is like uh, when I'm doing something 
And in this moment, uh, I stop and I'm um, like, I continue doing something like, uh, uh, I was doing the laundry. I was doing the laundry when the teacher mm -hmm. called. Called when the teacher called, called. me. Yeah, called. good job. Actually, yes, you are right. Okay, so the difference is actually the simple past is the, we're talking about actions that started and finished in the past. They are over, all right? Uh, and you say, um, well, you know that the simple past, uh, something that happens, it can never be, uh, it can be repeated, right? I mean, the same action is not going to be repeated, all right? But of course, uh, that's what we are, um, that's when we are talking about the simple past. Action started and was completed. But when the when we're talking about the present, con, sorry, the past continues, we're talking about actions that we were doing uh, simultaneously with the, with other actions. All right. So, for example, we were having, we were having, uh, we were, yeah, we were taking the class when it started shaking. Right. Right for the second time so when we are talking about the past continuous and we make that contrast between the simple past or in the present continuous okay and so the present continuous is actually past continuous oh my god past continuous we're talking about two actions that were happening at the same time or one action as you said brandy interrupted another action that was ongoing or was in progress that is why we say past progressive right or past continuous okay uh the video the video we have here it's a little long all right it's actually six minutes long so um we're not going to to watch this video since i hope you have watched the video already right yes yeah. okay nice so uh, that's basically what we were talking about. I will just play uh, the video for a few seconds so we can see this little image, right? The little image, and then we're talking about like a, a timeline. Yeah, tenemos una list, ¿cómo se llama? Timeline, um, línea de tiempo, right? And Si lo, si lo vemos acá, este es el presente, this is the present, and this is the past, something that was completed and finished. But when we're talking about a past continuous, the action was more, more extended, right? It was in progress, and we, were, we are using, most of the time we use, uh, we use two words to express, um, well, to contrast the, um, Past continuous with the simple past. What are those words? Can you see them here? Do you see my screen? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are the, the words that we normally use to talk about past continuous? While in as while right while or ah uh no -huh. que ya vieron el video pues ajá while is used when when we talk about two actions for example um. We can also use past continuous and past continuous using while. For example, while we were taking the class or we were receiving the class, uh, it was shaking. So two, two things at the same time, okay? So we say while. When we say while, we use two statements or two sentences with the past continuous. But if when uh, we use when, there is when something stopped, all right, the other action. So, um, I was I was watching the news when the um, electricity 
oh, how can I say this? Let's see. I'm going to write here an example. I was reading whatever you were reading while I was listening to music. If we say when, so we say, I was watching TV when it, we're talking about the same, the, the, the TV, when it um, broke down. Sorry, no. Okay. Past. We I use, we use when? I was working when I tripped. I was working. Uh, walking, Camina. Oh, walking. Sorry, sorry. Okay, walking. Uh, finish the idea, please. Sorry. When I tripped, cuando me tropecé. Um, when I like like sleep. No, bueno, or slide. Ese es deslizar, pero trip es como un como un viaje, es como tropezarse. Trip. Ajá. Ajá, como, okay. como, como viaje se escribe. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, um, what is pasado? the past? What is the trip. past? Mm -hmm. Trip. With the T at the end, right? Trip. Mm -hmm. how, do you how do you spell it? A I T. Trip. I think trip. Mm, no, no. If it's a, if it's trip, you're talking about a regular verb. So what happens, guys, when we are using the the regular verbs in past, and we have you catch the ah, uh, it's a double double p. Mm -hmm. Sorry, exactly. So we double. Here, the P and ED. Okay, we were uh, we're going to talk about uh, really really quick the when to form or when to say uh, the ED in different ways, right? Because sometimes we say triped and it's not a correct um, pronunciation. Okay, give me another example with while Brandy and the rest you give me examples as well. Okay. I was taking the classes uh -huh. while while uh, somebody called me called me. Mm, if we say while, we use the two pack the two the uh, the both both actions in past continuous. While is mientras vea. me estaba bañando mientras oía música. I ocupamos un past continuous as well. I was taking the class while while I while I was, my husband was interrupting. Oh well, me. that's really true. <laughs> okay, so you see, estaba tomando la clase mientras, verdad? Estaba pasando otra. Eh, ah, okay. Yeah, nice. So Another... when I when I when I use while, both have to be in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I yeah. got it. And I, if you I... say in when we use when, so we we use the pre the. We can use when at the beginning, for example. Mm -hmm. When the TV when the TV broke down, I was watching, uh, my favorite program. Um. Mm -hmm. My soap opera, la novela, no, soap opera. When the TV, so when we are talking about the TV, so we can make it more. Um, when the, the TV, more explicit, right? So I was watching my soap opera when the TV broke down or when the lights uh, went off. Okay, se fue la luz. Okay. Um, 
um, I was um, teaching my class while it was raining. Mm -hmm. So the next, you will give me some other examples, guys, okay? Thank you, Brandy, good examples. So remember, while we use past continuous and past continuous. And we, when we say when, we use simple past. Okay, so in this is. case, we can use this at the beginning. So el orden de los factores, right? It doesn't affect that, that result. So when the TV broke down, eso sí, aquí se le pone una coma, okay? Si el when va antes, le pongo una coma, okay, para separar la idea. Okay, guys? So when the TV broke down, I was watching my soap opera. O al revés. I was watching my soap opera when the TV broke down, okay? So, simple class. No, no necesariamente uh, you see the present continuous was at the beginning and the simple past was later. No, either or, all right? You can, you can move the... The both of the sentences, you can switch the order. Give me examples. Vaya, pues solo Brendis en la clase. I was trying to connect to the classes mm -hmm. uh, when I received a video call. Oh, okay. When I received. A video call. Nice, thank you. Another with while. I was what? doing my homework. While. When? Uh, I'm sorry. Vaya, terminemos con Gladys y después Marina y Jancy también me levantó la mano, right? Uh, the, after after um, Gladys gives me her example as well. Vamos a hacer el ejemplo de los dos, okay? So, is the second using while. Okay, while I was listening to music. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, suddenly um, an owl appeared. While I was listening, remember, while means that uh, it's past continuous, both sentences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, when I was listening to music. Um, no, while or when I heard the music. Okay, si ocupo when, ocupo pasado. No past continuous. I was Estamos... cooking. I was cooking con me. Uh -huh. While I was listening to music. La, mm -hmm. eh, la, la, good example, Brandy. I was cooking. Mm -hmm. Las dos acciones en past continuous. Past okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Y si no, ahí sería. How many O? <laughs> I know. How many O's? All right. Um, while I was listening to music, in that case, if you want to use a man appeared, ahí sería entonces. I was listening to music when a man appeared. Cuando mm. oh, alguien apareció ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. When an advertisement. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, the next, I can give you more examples. Uh, when uh, I was teaching my class, when I saw a frog on the roof, and I got really scared. Remember, I told you that story yesterday. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Marina, give me your example. I was doing? My homework. Okay, my homework. When my mom called me. E good job, when my mom. How do you spell called? E A C A L L E D. E D, yeah. Regular verbs, right? Okay, Jancy Sarai, give me, oh, sorry, no, the second example using while. I was cooking the dinner mm -hmm. while my mom was 
Um, interrupting. <laughs> interrupting. <laughs> interrupting me. Okay. <laughs> or why my mom was sleeping. Or why my mom was doing the laundry. Good. Ahí estamos. When my mom was interrupting. Mientras mi mamá estaba interrumpiendo. Okay. Oh. Interrupting. Good. I have Jancy. Give me both examples. Then uh, Tania. And then. Um, vamos a ver quién más no me ha participado. Okay. Uh, please, Jancy Serey. Okay, I was working mm -hmm. on my project while my friends were playing video games. My friend or my friends? My friends. Mm, okay, I was working on a project while, you say while? While my friends 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 ahí well, está bien al inicio no, no le escuché que me dijo friends con plural si es solo friend entonces es was si es friends entonces si es were muy bien good job acuérdense guys que no solo es was right we can, we use where in what cases yes. uh -huh. plural for plural except you El you que también es singular, ¿verdad? Pero sí también se dice where, ¿ok? Los demás, sí, so for singular we say was. Uh, so for plural, we're talking about my friends, we, you, or they, all right? For I, he, and she, then we use was. What about the other example with the uh, when? For whom? Yes, Jan C. Remember, son dos ejemplos, guys. Two examples. Oh, two. Um... Yeah, uno con while, otro con when. Please. Con when. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Solamente se había pensado. Come on, no, no, no. Two, two. I need two. Uh -huh. hacer, hacer mismo y con solamente ponerle when. Uh, eh, puedo usar they were um, they were or my friends were uh -huh. eh, playing soccer playing the, soccer uh -huh. in the park uh -huh, whatever continue when or when it started to rain Hey, good job. When it started to rain. Super. Good job. Ya ven que si pueden. Super easy. And then we have Tania and then Jancy Andrea. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I was cooking when I stumbled. How do you spell uh, that verb? Ya ocuparon un montón de cooking, vea. But it's okay. I was cooking when I stumble. It's like this? Trumble. No. Trumble is um, airport. Ah, pero when usted, the... ¿Usted se movió o...? El, o, o... Mm, cuando tembló. Ah, eso en, no, no se dice when, I, when I, sería entonces. When trumble. Ok. O when it shook. O temblar, dice usted de temblor, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. um, I don't remember how to, how, to, how to write it. How do you spell it? Uh, when the earthquake started. Mm -hmm. No, when... No, oh, ella está hablando de que tembló. Aunque era shake, eh, es, más es más común para hablar cuando tiembla. Pero, eh, what is the verb that you're saying? 
Tim. C R T M B L E. T R E. T R E. Uh huh. E. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. I didn't remember that. Uh, the spelling. Is that correct? No. Yes or no, Tanya? Yes. I was saying mm, yes. No, Tanya. really, because we're talking about past. There's something missing there. D. A D, right? A D. Very good. Thank you. Do you have another? I was eating dinner while I my mom washing it. the dishes. While Dishes. my mom washing the dishes. Washing. Washing. Uh huh. <laughs> washing. I see. Is that correct? My mom is washing. O was washing. Sorry. Was, right? Was. Sí, aquí le faltaba el was. Acuérdense que past okay. progressive. I'm going to give you the, the um, let's see, la formula, right? The formula or the structure. The structure. So, when we're talking about past progressive, we use a subject who makes the action plus was or were all the time, right? Yeah, and the verb, of course, will be. be Sorry. Verb. No, just I say is the verb to be in past plus the verb. The main, the main verb como el verbo principal, right? So the main verb. With ing. Exactly. That's it. Plus the complement. Plus complement. Mm -hmm. That's it. So for simple past, this is for past continuous. So what's the structure for simple past? A lot easier, right? We just need to know the verbs, okay? How many verbs did, have you learned? ¿Qué tantos yeah. verbos se han aprendido? How have you learned? Yeah. Ya vamos a hacer un test. All right, so simple past, we just use the verb to be, sorry, yeah. the, verb, the, the subject, the plus the verb in past in past obviously we're talking about affirmative sentences okay but we can make questions uh, for example háganme preguntas uh, con el past continuous guys plus the complement in uh, questions did you work uh, yesterday in past continuous working. ah you wasn't working yesterday when what? the... Was okay. you... You were. Was you, you, were, were so. you were. You were. Was you working? No, you were is... Aquí, you were. You were. Es were you. Es la estructura you. de afirmativo. Muy bien, Luis. Were Thank you. Thank you working? Les, le cambiamos el was o el were al inicio, right? Was... Yeah. No, was you no, guys. Es were you. Recuerden eso. Were okay? You. Solo para I, he, and she. He, she, and it. Okay? So... What were you doing when it trembled? ¿Qué estabas haciendo cuando tembló? Mm -hmm. I Good. Was, so I, was for, <laughs> I was having the class. I was taking the, or having dinner, right? Nice. So for simple pass, I see si es negativo. Mira cómo le digo, te estuve esperando todo el día, pero nunca viniste. Ajá. Uh -huh. I was waiting for you for 
every day, the whole day. The whole day, ajá, uh -huh. the whole and you day. Did, and you didn't, didn't come. Didn't, ¿verdad? Ocupó el didn't ahí. Oh, but you didn't come. Aquí no aplica mucho el when, pero si se fijan, siempre ocupamos past continuous and simple, uh, uh, with a simple past structure. Uh, I think, Jancy, Andrea, you're missing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what are your examples? Well, um, the power went out while doing my homework. Mm -hmm. And another, I was having dinner when the earthquake happened. Went off while I um doing my homework. Something's missing. Was. Was. Aha. Aha. She said at the beginning, teacher. Okay, I did uh I, pero cuando me dijo doing homework, okay, I was. Siempre acordémonos que hay que llevar el, el was. En la segunda vez no se lo escuché. But good. I was doing my homework. Homework. And the other. Sorry, Jancy. Repeat the second. I was having dinner when the earthquake happened. All right. Nice. Nice example. Todos me dicen el, el when en medio. Quiero que me usen al, en, al inicio también, ¿ok? Entonces recuerden que pueden hacerlo, eh, pueden poner el when al inicio, ¿ok? Lo vamos a poner aquí al inicio. When... When I was having dinner, the earthquake happened. When the earth... Oh, okay. <laughs> earthquake happened... But happened, uh -huh. when the earthquake happened, I was having dinner. Remember here, if you're using, um, I mean, if you're writing, so a comma is necessary there, okay? Nice, Hi. anybody else? Thank you, um, Jancy. It's typing teacher, not writing. Yeah, you're right, typing. Typing, mm -hmm. <laughs> writing is, but I write here as well. I write here on my book, <laughs> okay? But yeah, texting, con el teléfono, you text, right? You chat. And then the other is typing, yeah? Typing, digitando, okay? Nice. Ever, you have examples? Do you have examples? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was taking classes while my cat was doing a mess. <laughs> okay, nice. And the other with the simple past. When the classes began, I was talking with my brother. Began, right? Began. Okay, the simple past of begin. You say when the classes began, right? Began. Nice, good example. Anything? Anything else, guys? Me faltan varios. Me. Yes, Ernesto. I was driving my car while I was listening to music. When I, while I was? I was listening to music. Listen. I was listening to music. Yeah, exactly. Listening okay. to music. Thank you. Good job. And the other using when? When my cell phone turned off, I was chatting with my friend. Okay, nice. Cabal estaba hablando cuando se me descargó, ¿verdad? Miren, bien común ocupar ese when. Okay, nice. Somebody else? When it started rain, I was okay. Después de started, ocupo un... ¿Se acuerdan? To rain? No. It started to rain, yeah. It started to rain. When it started to rain, I was playing soccer. I'm okay, nice. We recycle the examples. We are recycling examples. Estamos haciendo casi lo mismo, pero si se fijan, muy buenos ejemplos, okay? 
aunque repetimos algunas cosas, ¿verdad? De la lluvia y todo eso, but good examples. Thank you. When it started to rain, I was playing soccer. Good job. Another. When I was a child, I used to play soccer. Mm. Okay. No. When I was a child, I used to play soccer. Cuando era niña, solía Solita. jugar. Okay. Ahí no salí model, no. Um, ahí no aplica con pasado continuo, right? Uh -huh. sin, pero sí buena, buena estructura del used to. Solía. I used to play uh, soccer. I used to play softball on the street. También. En la calle ahí nos poníamos a jugar. Antes no nos mataron los carros nunca. Uh Ajá. -huh. Ok. Anybody else? Susana no se me duerma y Michelle le duele la muela quizás o qué va a Ajá. Come on guys, uh, necesito it, que todos participen, ¿ok? Please. He was studying math while I, I listen to music. Repeat. He was studying math while I listen to music. I was listening to music, ¿ok? Es que mire que así como la, no le oigo bien, I was listening to I was listening to music. Okay, uh, yeah, nice. I have a headache. You have a headache? Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry, Susana. Bueno, que hace ratito se, han, se ha puesto enfermo usted. Ya puede pasar yeah, consulta. Sorry, ¿verdad? that's the problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, Do you have the another other one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when they were eating, more people arrived at my house. Good job. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, my, when my mom was. If I use doing, when, we don't use, we don't use was. No ocupamos when con pasado continuo, sino que con pasado simple. Okay. Um, when my mom cooked the dinner. Mm -hmm. I was. When I was no. doing my home. Okay, when cook the dinner. Okay, okay. I was doing the homework. Nice. When my mom. When cooked. my mom was cooking. Yo creo que dinner. sería ahí while. Es mejor usar el while. En lo que ella estaba haciendo eso, yo estaba haciendo lo otro. Okay. Cuando mi mamá cocinó, yo estaba haciendo esto. Creo que es mejor pasado while. continuo usando while. Uh -huh. While my mom was cooking dinner. Yes. Uh, cooking the dinner. Uh -huh. I was doing my homework. Very good. Ahí sí suena mucho mejor. Good, good job, Michelle. Another using while. Was, hoy sí ocupamos uno con while. Uh, ese era con while. Ese era con, con while. Ah, con el when, sorry. Con when. Um... Nos quedamos, no le, no, no le escucho. I don't hear you. A todos les pedí un ejemplo, Michelle. Ya tuvo que haberlo when, tenido ahí. Ajá, when. When the TV show started. Ah, nice. I was cooking popcorn. Ok, nice. Thank you. Good job. ¿Quién es Jamie? Que no me acuerdo de ella. No me acuerdo haberla visto en la clase. Do you remember, guys? Have you ever seen her before? Jamie, are you a yes. ghost or are you a real person? I is the Jamie Vaya. Okay, Jamie, yes. I need... <laughs> Jamie. Contón por no encender la cámara. Mire, ya ve, ajá, ya ve, mire. Si, si usted, si usted no, no me pone la cámara, yo no recuerdo quién es usted, Jamie. Ok, so, eh, Jamie, you didn't give me your example. Cree que, cree que se va a quedar sin darme el ejemplo. Ajá, come on. Uh, 
I will forget my brother when he has for forgiveness. What? Can you repeat? I will forgive my brother. I will forgive my... Ok, ahí estamos ocupando futuro. Ok, will. Ahorita no estamos viendo ese tema. Ok. When he... I will forget... Forgive, sorry. Forgive my brother. Y después, ¿qué es el que me había when dicho? My brother, when... Uh -huh. He has, creo que se dice. No. no. Eso es un presente simple. Uh -huh. Ok. So, Ay, es, ya ven, Jamie, no he estado en la clase. Ok, no he estado en la clase. Porque aquí estamos diciendo incluso las estructuras y las fórmulas de cómo hablar un pasado continuo. Y cuando hablar con when y cuando hablar con while. Le vamos a dejar una tarea, ¿ok? Nos da 10 oraciones usando while y 10 oraciones usando when. Me las manda mi celular, please. Directo. ¿Ok, Jamie? Yo más le capturo la pantalla para que vean los ejemplos. Or you can, yeah, you can just... Uh, le voy a mandar estas uh, para que vea los ejemplos, como dice Jay. Eh, Brandy. Se los envío ahí en el chat. Bye. <coughs> ah, I was talking too much when I started coughing. Sí, y cuando comencé a toser, right? Um, because I speak too much, guys. So, sorry. Vaya, eso, chicos, es un simple pass versus pass continuous, ¿ok? Yo What creo que no hay... with Sullivan? Sullivan is rabbit, but he can talk. Yeah, I don't know if he's, if he's, he said he will be just a listener today. Mm -hmm. uh, That's yeah. why I don't ask him because I, I saw his message before. So remember if he's driving, why he's driving. Le voy a poner un ejemplo. Why I was driving, participate. I crash. Mientras he estaba manejando, yo ya choqué, ¿verdad? So... No, para, para que se, se um, he, he, he can focus. So he can to be when? when I crashed. Cuando, uh -huh. Yeah. No, while. No, cuando choqué y ahí, ahí se me paró la to, todo. ¿Sí? Choqué y no, no seguí chocando y chocando y chocando y chocando. ¿verdad? Por eso Entonces, es, sería... es when, it's not while. What did I say? You say while. While I was... Oh. She said when. Sorry, no sé si lo dije así, no. pero vamos a yeah. ver el video. Say pero... why. <laughs> Vaya, entonces es... When I was... Vaya, ya ven, ya me está corrigiendo ahí la teacher. Va, pues, while sería entonces... When I was... No. When I crashed, I was driving. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Did I say it correctly, teacher? Okay. <laughs> Vaya. Y si, imagínense, con el present continuo, con past continuous, a veces estamos así como que struggling, ¿verdad? Porque, sí, aquí estamos hablando en futuros, ¿verdad? Siempre hay alguien que tal vez no pone atención y estamos viendo temas importantes. Okay. Porque si se fijan, if you notice this, ¿Qué sigue después, chicos? ¿De qué otro tema tenemos que hablar ahorita? Vaya, solo para que vean. Past continuous is 4.3. We're going to do the, the knowledge check. Y miren aquí un lesson objective here. Bueno, este es un listening activity, pero este... Es past perfect. Ok, ahí es otro tiempo. ¿Para qué ocupamos el past perfect? Vamos a ver. Uh, for giving information that started in the past and continue happen until now. Until the moment I am talking. Actually, uh, you're partially correct because that is present perfect. All right. That is the past perfect is used 
Uh, we will watch the video since it's very, very short. Porque eso estoy hablando de una acción que pasó antes de otra acción que pasó, que pasó en el pasado. Ok, valga la redundancia. Ok, el present perfect, sí, maybe. Um, así es el present perfect que comenzó desde antes, ¿verdad? Como yo he trabajado, hasta, ¿por qué? Por 20 años o más, he trabajado, ¿verdad? Comencé, comencé, pero sigo también trabajando. Ok, so, vamos a ver eh, el past perfect in a few minutes. If not, uh, we will do it for tomorrow. So we will do just a um, knowledge check, okay? If somebody wants to do the number one, uh, oh, read the instructions para que participen un poco más. Oh. Anyone? Complete the news. So, I'm sorry, you have to be faster than me. Complete the news story using the past continuous and the simple past. Use the verbs given. Mm -hmm. use, the, use the verbs given. Somebody said teacher, uh, I don't know who said, who, Luis ever, but it was a man, it was a man, I mean. He wanted to read. Who wants? Yeah, who wanted to read? Quién es que quería leer? Vaya, so drives drivers hit the jackpot. Okay, so number one, who wants to do the number one? Es super fácil, chicos. That is super easy. Eh, vamos a pedir a Jamie que nos ayude con una de las cuatro, pero vamos a esperar que alguien más nos dé el ejemplo primero. Maybe go number one. Okay. While drivers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a cheap wreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay, containing gold discovered. Discovered a cheap wreck. Discovered a cheap wreck. Discovered. Discovered. Uh, discovered a cheap wreck containing gold worth. Two million dollars. Okay, voy a escribirle algo acá. Yo le oigo como un chip, más suavecito la SH. Chipwreck, okay? Chipwreck. All right. And if we're talking in like in English, yo así lo he escuchado que dicen Florida. Florida. All right. Si en español le decimos Florida, but in English we say Florida. Yeah. Por ejemplo, Canadá, en inglés se dice. Canada, right? No le, le ponemos al inicio la, la fuerza de voz, no al final. Okay, thank you, maybe. So, while drivers were working. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que solo con eso alguien lo ha hecho. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. Solo así entonces, right? Okay. Uh, so, the second. We're working here, yeah, we're working. Uh -huh. Covert. Jamie, vamos a preguntarle a Jamie. Y después a Michelle. Um, they were. They were. Uh -huh. Covert. Where discover, así? Discover. Yes. Discovering. ING. Uh -huh. Discovering. ING. Uh -huh. Okay. They, they were discovering a shipwreck containing. Hmm. World two million. ¿Estuvieron descubriendo o descubrieron? ¿Qué cree usted? What do you think, guys? Descubrieron. Ah, so, ¿cuál sería lo más adecuado aquí, Michelle? They discovered. They discovered, yeah. They, with the ED. Yes. Ahí se That's tiene right. que poner. Discovered. Uh -huh. Number three, help me. Jancy, Jancy después ever, ok. Jancy and then ever. Eh, Jancy Andrea. 
Okay. The drive the divers, right? Yes, the, the drivers. drivers. Divers or drivers? Drivers. Okay, uh -huh. Drivers. drivers. The drivers. Uh -huh. Um was filming a show about drivers is plural. Es plural is where were excuse me. Uh -huh. right, okay. the drivers were filming a show about the coral yes. reef when they found the gold. Okay, nice. We're filming, right? Filming. And the ever uh, oh ya las ya hicimos todas ever. Vaya, los, la siguiente me ayuda no, usted. No, go, go, go down, go down. Oh, there are more. Yeah. Oh, all right. So uh, continue ever. As a woman was walking with her pet poodle down the street. Yeah, the leather L is silent there. Walking. walking. Uh huh. Walking. 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 Okay. Thank you. Walking dead. Uh huh. Okay. A woman was walking with her pet poodle mm -hmm. down Gwen. No, no, no. Ah. Only Fíjense, si, si se fijan, yeah. así como al mismo tiempo, este, este as, ese as es utilizado como why en este caso, right? Yep. Okay. As a woman was walking with her pet poodle down the street. Okay. Mm. Tell me the other uh, number. Um, ya, ya perdí la cuenta cuál es el número. So here, the next. Okay. This the, the second of the second of section. A hairstylist noticed noticed them through the window and suddenly had a great idea. So for you it's simple past only, right? Yeah. Noticed. All right, noticed them and suddenly had a great idea. Okay. The next one. Later, mm -hmm. later, while he was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. Later, while he was creating, very good, he was creating a new line of hair of hair care products for dogs and cats. Vale, así es que si se fijan, si no leemos todo, no le sentimos mucho, mucho, mucho sentido, valga la redundancia, ¿verdad? Es, es un, es un paragraph. No, no está aislado, digamos, de oraciones, sino que es un paragraph. Es como una pequeña story, ¿ok? And the next one, Michelle. Uh, he came up with a new slogan. Good job. So the verb is actually came, right? Came. Ahí está. Came up with a new slogan. Even animals have pets. Vamos a ver. Yeah. Thank you. In the last six minutes, we have. We're going to do another um yeah, this is just a listening uh, activity it's it's a minute or uh, a minute and something long. Help me read the instructions. who wants to read it Jancy Sarai. by después usted Brandy after then uh you okay okay. Yes, sir. In this class, in this class, you will learn how to develop 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 skills in listening for details. Develop not taking skills. Pero me quién está hablando, chico?
No lo escuchen a Jancy, sino que escuché otros ruidos por ahí. Ok, Con, sorry Jancy, develop, ok, develop. Repeat the, since the beginning. In this class, you will learn how to develop skills in listening for, for days, develop not taking skills, listen to new stories. Mm -hmm. Okay, learn how to develop skills, develop skills, psst, psst, develop skills. Acordémonos cuando comienza con S, we don't pronounce the E at the beginning, right? Just skills. Skills in, para que se le haga más fácil. How to develop skills in, junto todo. Listening for details. Develop note taking skills, listen to new stories. O sea, aquí qué es lo que está diciendo. Desarrolla, ¿verdad? Desarrolla las las habilidades sí. tomando notas, ¿verdad? Por, y listen to new stories, ¿ok? I don't know why it's not, we don't have this, the Spanish translation. Okay, develop, 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 okay? Let's continue. So we listen to the story, okay? Tell me what happens, take notes. Me avisan qué es lo que pasó ahí. Are you able to hear? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you develop skills in listening. Yes. Develop note-taking skills. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, so what happened uh, in the first story? Oh, so what, uh, what happened in the first story? No pregunto lo más fácil, ¿verdad? Sino que a dónde, dónde es, ¿verdad? ya sabemos. A man was seriously injured. All right, He, uh, a man was injured of, for what? For a three meters snake. Imagine that's horrible. Okay. Uh, and where was it? In Thailand. Thailand. In Thailand, right? In Thailand. All right. What happened on the first story? So a man was almost strangled by the, by a snake, right? Yeah. Where did the second story happen? Vale, lo vamos a terminar mañana, chicos. Okay. 
Uh, and tomorrow we will listening. Uh, we will be listening. Vamos a estar escuchando ese ese audio nuevamente. See you tomorrow. I have another class. Bye bye.